what's good everybody hope everybody's chilling man and looking forward to a brighter and a better new day you know what i'm saying to put things in motion man and, and definitely to get things cracking you know what i'm saying in a proper perspective word but uh we're gonna get to it man we ain't gonna have no more delays because uh this is something man that that i really believe that especially my people original people of planet earth black people need to learn and need to know you know what i'm saying i go by the name of the no face the rambler and i appreciate you for lending me your ear on this hour and this time of the day you know what i'm saying so let's get it popping man let's get it cracking let's jump into this topic man because this is what this is what y'all need to learn man and this is my honest opinion why black people black people my people we need these two these two imperative concepts in order for us to move forward man and number one is realizing that we have no friends we have no alliances you know what I'm saying we have no brothers and sisters outside of our race and number two number two is man we have to deal collectively on a monolithic thought and this is my opinion man This, this is what I propose and what I'm bringing to the table man because this shit is serious man you know what I'm saying now as you can see on the screen man it's it's this image man that a lot of a lot of our people man a lot of our people are truly genuinely believing in some type of bogus relationship bogus alliances bogus friendships outside of their race and their origins of original people that belong to them you know what I'm saying I want to reiterate this man we have no fucking friends man we have no fucking friends period you know what I'm saying the Arabs aren't your fucking friends you can clearly see what's going on in Libya you can clearly see black men, black women, how they treat you in your own community. You know what I'm saying? We have no friends, man. Asians aren't our friends. Hispanics aren't our friends. Sorry to say. And I don't want to hear about the Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, some that when it's convenient latch on to our Afro our African identity it's bullshit because we have no friends we have no friends and the, the problem with this concept that a lot of black men and women are brainwashed with plagued with with this concept of, of we have to fight for Asians we gotta fight for Arabs we gotta fight for all these other social groups all these other political groups and all these other brand new groups of people who just that, that are just popping up and emerging in society and all these other races of people who are not us we feel that we have to walk in their shoes we have to defend them we have to align ourselves with them but we never get the alliance back we never get the love back we never get the same energy that we put out for them we never get that back you see what I'm saying and all these other people are doing black man and black woman they're riding your wave they're riding your wave So they can get 
some trickets, some treats, some prosperous goals, and prosperous lifestyle in America, in which when they achieve that, and you black man and black woman are out here damn near every week, almost every day, getting slaughtered, murdered, raped by the dominant society. These same individuals, these same races of people and groups of people that you're aligning yourself with will join forces with the individuals that are targeting you. You know what I'm saying? That are targeting you. When you're getting murdered, you're getting raped and robbed and oppressed in the streets day to day, black man, black woman. Whether you're at work, whether you're at home, whether you, whatever you're doing out through your day, when you're being targeted, the same individuals, the Arabs, Asians, Hispanics, all these other lesbians and all that, and, 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 and homosexuals, they're not out there riding for you. They're not out, they're not out there marching and, 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 and trying to get shit done on your behalf because they have no need to. So black man, black woman, you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? They have no need to ride. They're cool in their own lane. But whenever they feel that they're under attack, they're being the target, they go straight to your stupid ass black man and black woman and use your stupid ass black man and black woman as a fucking come up. As a fucking come up. And all of a sudden, they understand oppression. They understand discrimination. They understand prejudice. You know what I'm saying? But they only align themselves with you when it's convenient. So my question is, black man, black woman, when you gonna wake up, man? When are you gonna wake up? Because this shit's pathetic, man. It's really pathetic. You know what I'm saying? And it brings me to point two brings me to to point two and my second question my second plight that I think black men and black women definitely in America should have or rather all over the globe for that goddamn matter it's monolithic thought you know what I'm saying monolithic thought Yes, monolithic thought. That's what we, as a people, are losing. We don't have a monolithic thought. We are the only race of people in this country, in this society, that want to be a part of every other ethnic, racial, and social background. That we will do any and everything to separate ourselves and cause division amongst ourselves to achieve to achieve a distorted a fantasy a life or utopia that will never happen in our reality. Because we want to be a part of other social, racial, and ethnic groups and their lifestyles who don't want to have anything to do with us on any level. On any level. But we desperately so bad want to be a part of theirs. We want to be a part of their world so fucking bad 
and a monolithic thought comes in and particularly with us because black man, black woman if you look around these other groups that you so so feverishly so strongly want to be a part of want to align yourself with whether it's, it's another race ethnics some type of social lifestyle they all have a monolithic thought they all have rules and guidelines that they live by that they conduct themselves with they all have laws of their self and in particularly everyone in their race except for us and see it's fucked up because they're entitled to have a monolithic thought a monolithic union of the way they move and act but we black man black woman as a race of people we're not allowed to have that we're not allowed to have that because we keep attempting to fight and chase for this bogus fucking dream of freedom freedom from what freedom from what from your skin tone free of of your own race free of, of who you naturally are when you look in the mirror is that what freedom means to you black man black woman because you are the only race of people in this society and all across the globe that have a huge problem with loving nurturing and joining the inequality with each other you black man and black woman have must be with other races of other people you must have this we are the world concept bullshit when all other races of people on planet earth don't share your vision they don't want that utopia and they show that to you black man and black woman through violence murder robbery of natural resources in your own fucking land and in other countries through separation and segregation and through their laws and their justice system they show you black man black woman that they want no part they don't want to join forces they don't want to align themselves they don't want to be friends that deep with you on any level but black man and black woman you don't see that you don't get that you don't get that you just need you desire to share a utopia with them instead of your own and that's fucked up so you really need to define what freedom is because the way it's looking historically up to now freedom to black man and black woman is free from their own free from amongst their own kind and that's not freedom that's abandonment That's self-hate. You know what I'm saying? 
So black man, black woman, quit aligning yourself with all these other fucking groups, all these other racial groups, these other social groups that have no desire to share utopia with you. The only reason they will use your alliance is when it's beneficial and convenient for them. And then once they achieve what they need to achieve, they just pull their pants down and shit on you again. Like they've been doing for years and years and years. Stop. Searching for an alliance. You have no friends. Work on building relationships amongst your own. You know what I'm saying? And the monolithic thought. I would love if we all had one religion that we as black people moved and stuck by. But it's various forms of religion. Me personally, I don't agree with Christianity or Islam. You know what I'm saying? So we could take religion off the table and we have to realize that we are bonded by our skin tone. And we have to realize that there are others in this world who make it very, very prevalent. They make it very, very real and visual for us that they do not like, love, want to be around or with us. And they set up laws. They set up certain verbal codes of communications. They set up financial situations to excess out of everything. And my suggestion is that we get on the same shit and we connect and build with each other. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, man, it, it's got to be an awakening, man. It has to be awakening, man. Because this is getting drastic. You know what I'm saying? This is no face to rambler, man. And I'm out. And I appreciate you for taking the time out to tune in with me, man. You know what I mean? Because we're going to get to the bottom of this, man. We're going to get to that destination of truth. 2017, 2018, man. It's pro love and no love. You know what I mean? If you ain't riding our wave, then get the fuck off. Get the fuck off the speedboat, man. And drown in that ocean. Or that false, bogus utopia you searching for. You know what I'm saying? Peace. And I'm out.